morning people how are you guys doing today welcome to another vlog of daring whips today is the day again that we got some work to do on the e46 again i'm not gonna do it in my garage i'm gonna take this thing to mike and what this is it's a suspension you already know by my title that's my e46 suspension and it's some ecs tuning it's been sitting in my garage for like last month or so i haven't gotten time so that's why i'm going to mike and get it done because i still don't have time to do it myself so yep i'm gonna go to mike get my suspension i'm gonna show you guys when i get there and let's go rolling you know guys buying a project car is pretty fun and all but until you have christmas lights <laughs> and just like that we're at mike's garage where we're gonna get the suspension settled in the main reason I wanted to get the coilovers so uh, so soon on this car was because like my tire was rubbing pretty bad on the back because my tires are 265s they're not stock so that's why they're rubbing pretty goddamn bad. So Mike, say hi to the channel. Good guys. <laughs> Mike's back on it with his magic hands. Jack up the car, take the wheel off, then you basically open the bolt right here and then three bolts on the top one two three and your core coilover will be basically off from the car i'm gonna be changing my control arms out as well these are right here that's what i'm gonna be changing and see right here these ones in the back and they came with the uh ec ecs tuning uh, suspension i'm not sponsored by them so yeah well, i mean they'll be that'll be cool if they sponsor me but yeah let's get that done and get the coilover out besides that 18. That's 18. Yep. Right, open the 18. And like that. It's going to free the bottom. It's got a clamp. It clamps around the tube of the, um, the actual strut itself. That clamp it just has a bolt that runs through the backside to actually clamp it down tight. You pull that bolt right out, it'll let the sleeve open some. Uh -huh. If it ever gets stuck in there, you can take a screwdriver or something that you can you know create a wedge with and just wedge it in between the two halves and it'll actually open it up and when it opens up this will just slide right out we still have a, a link here for the sway bar to remove <laughs> this is going to be probably a, a 14 or a 15 yeah see that's and then on top you've got three 13 millimeter nuts that hold it in at the top and that's it that's it for the that's front ones you installation guys installation and removal right yep here. No, i'm not going to explain anymore i'm just showing my key Sure you guys Mike do his work. There it goes with the old one. Yep, so what you basically do is just put in the new one in from the bottom and tighten this bolt in the back for your control arm and two, three bolts on the top. That's for your sway bar. Or the sway bar. That's for the length of the sway bar. And the three bolts on the top and <coughs> the <coughs> clamp on the bottom. And the clamp in the bottom, that's yep. it. That's, that's about it. So my camera's about to die. I'm not gonna record the other side. I'm gonna record the back side though before I, char before I charge it. Before my camera dies. I'm gonna show you guys the suspension that you guys have been waiting for. So this is how it comes in. I didn't take nothing out. This comes on the top, just a paper. Then you got a $100 wine voucher, reward card basically. These are to con uh, control your, uh, you know, suspension. Cause my car is actually, uh, the suspension is actually the one that you fix up. It's not a stiff one, it's not like the one height. I didn't want that. That's why I got the one that, you know, you can fix up and shit. And then I think that's my receipt. Yes, sir, that's my receipt. And this right here, there's my sway bars. I'm gonna fix it all up and record it on my phone and show you guys. All right, there goes my suspension. And Mike's trying to fix it up. Is that the left? This is the right. This is the right, all right. It's so you, side. All right, 
So you just gotta figure out which one is the right, which one is the left. Uh, right now, I'm just setting the nut on top because it's actually not threaded all the way in. Okay. So I'm actually just gonna set the nut on top so that that way this isn't all loose and janky on here like okay. so. I'm gonna get this all settled nice and even the way it should be sitting. Mm -hmm. And then once everything's set, I'll go ahead and install it. And once we've got all of them installed, I'll set ride height from there. All right. They, these are actually my rears. My springs are right here. And these are actually my sway bar links. And then I got my other front side. And these are to fix it up. And there goes all my suspension, you guys. There goes. Pop. There goes. So we're trying to use the old uh, shirt pan. Yeah. And uh, we don't have the new ones. They came with the suspension. So he was just trying to open this thing up and obviously it's a spring. So when it was going to open, it was going to, you know, pop. But yeah, there goes the old one. And I'm recording with my phone now because my camera's in car charging. He's trying to tighten up the... Yeah, I'm just putting a little tension on it. So it'll go up on the bolts? Well, no, so it will hold these springs tight so I can lift on them. Okay. I'm trying to line this. Oh, there it is. Which one's maybe looking from that side? There goes this one. Yeah. Yep, just trying to line these bolts right here on top. And there we go. I do help, okay? <laughs> you're basically done on top just need to tighten a little bit more and that's it so you do want to uh, change your sway bar length see that's a that's a stock one and this is a bolt obviously this is not going to go with the bolt because it's way too far from the bolt but yeah we're going with the that came with the ones that came with the car and i'm pretty sure those are good enough to you know line up with the suspension but yeah this came with the sus uh, suspension itself i didn't order them separately but you can but I'd rather have them come with the suspension then you wouldn't have problems, you know, lining them up. All right, so sure, uh, so, uh, he's gonna explain you something right now. Okay, this is the new sway bar link. See if you can tuck around this side. This sway bar link goes from down here, down where it joins the sway bar, all the way up, and it's actually supposed to link in right here. At the moment, it's too high, so we're gonna swap it out for this one that is shorter, but this unit is also too short looking here. So what we're gonna wind up doing, if you look on this side, you see the sway bar is maxed out down. It can't go any further down. It's already hitting right here. So to bring this up, we take off both sway bar links on either side. The other side too. And then we just pivot the entire arm up and then this will come right up into place. Be able to bolt it right in. Done deal. Bob's your uncle off and running. All right. And the other side will already be aligned because mm -hmm. this side will hold it at the perfect height. So when you go to do the other side, it'll already be exactly where it should be. Poke one on, poke the other on, tighten them down. Done deal. All right. All right, ladies and boys, we are done with the front. Uh, Mike's just putting the tires back on, and uh, then we're gonna drop the car and see what the difference is. All right, so we had a problem. We couldn't drop the jack all the way because the thing is, uh, the jack, the car is too low. The jack's gonna get stuck under it. So he's gonna drop from the side and we can't get that shot that we wanted. Now look at that. <laughs> That's how low my car is now. God fucking shit, Mike. <laughs> now we need to get the back down. Yeah, we just gotta get the back down now. She, she's twerking. She got that ass up in there, you know? <laughs> yeah, you got ass down. Shit. But yeah, that's low, bro. That's fucking low. Shit, I can't even... I can't even put my finger. Nope. Well, hey, I like it. I don't give a shit. I like it. But this is the lowest height possible, right? Yeah. Yes. So we're on the passenger uh, driver rear now. Mike's gonna explain you how to do this side. Or first, first gonna... thing you wanna do, you pull that big bolt. It goes right through the base of the uh, your rear shock here. You just let it dangle like so, 
You're going to want to come up in your trunk area. Come inside of here. There's this liner inside of here. You got to get it pulled back. We've already got it loose for the sake of the video. If you get it back opened up, you take a 13 millimeter socket. What I like to do is I like to use a little extension. Got a little diamond head on it so the socket kind of gets a little wobble there. You can angle it wherever you need. And you just take that, make sure you're set in reverse. Go right there, there's one nut in front of the, the center of the strut or shock. There's one nut in back. You're not going to see that, but you're going to know it's there, so you reach back there and get that. You run those two out, and the whole shock drops right out. Once it does, you can continue to lower the, uh, the suspension on the one side to be able to bring the spring out. As soon as the old spring's out and you set the new stack in, you put your new, uh, put your new uh, shock, shock back in, in, and then you're all good to go. Button everything back up. And just like that, it'll come out. But make sure you don't throw everything away because we're going to be using this and we're going to be using that. So Now, once you remove the shock and you go to remove the spring, so literally all you have to do is you pull that shock out of there, so you apply pressure, and, just pull it and the spring comes loose, yep. and out it comes. And you set your new stack in there, you set your new shock in there, uh -huh. button everything back up, good to go. And we're still going to be using these two. We reuse the uppers on here, but because the new setup, here, follow me to the other side, because the new setup comes with an adjustable base that sits in the bucket, we're not going to retain that original rubber on the bottom. We do on the top though, so it does have the original rubber cap, capping it across the top of the spring and we're using this adjustable base down at the bottom of the spring bucket to adjust our ride height from there. So it's pretty much the same idea, you basically take this off, put it under, take that off, put it under and put the bolts back in, the two bolts on the top and one on the bottom and basically this is exactly what you do with the spring too, but yeah, we're still going to explain it to you guys. Pretty. Okay, so typically this is going to come without a sleeve for it. Now this sleeve is the original that came on the car, it's old, it's separated, the rubbers come apart, but the fact of the matter is, a little bit of protection is better than zero protection. So, that being the case, we're going to go ahead and reuse the old one, as old as it is and as crusty as it is, it's still going to give us a little bit of layer of protection around this shaft here, and again, any protection is better than none. So, we're going to take advantage of having this piece, and go ahead and swap it over to the new one. You put the new retaining washer on that comes with the, the set. Put the new base washer on out of the original stack. And then you go ahead and add the shock mount itself and your top washer. Once those are done, comes with a new nut. Throw your new nut on there. And as I stated earlier, this will actually typically go together without you necessarily having to clamp or hold anything with any additional tools. There it is. Ready to go back in the car. Yep. All right, so he's gonna put it in from the bottom and uh, you're gonna need someone else with you to do this basically, right? Line this up with the holes. Yeah. And then come up here. The other person's gonna come up here and bolt this up. And, oh, can't get that right. And once it's on like this, it's on Mike. So then you can just release that. Cool. So okay, it'll go be. Go ahead and put the other one in. Yep. And Make it'll sure be hanging like this. Don't worry about it because Mike's gonna put the other one in. Once the other one is in, then. Yep. Basically, you get this line up with that. But we're gonna do use jack to push it up because it's not easy to push it up with hands. But before you push this up and bolt this in, make sure your springs back in and springs in. This bolts in. That's basically how you do the rear. We actually thought the springs was gonna be the hard part to get it out. But in my case, it was actually pretty easy. It was like really, really easy in my case. So to put the spring back in, first thing you want to do is set your ride height here. We're gonna just set it to the lowest the height possible for now. The main thing you don't want to do is when you're setting these rear spring perches, you've got two nuts. You have a main nut for support, and you've got a jam nut. This little jam nut tightens up against your main nut to keep it in place. So let's say you were set there, you just tighten the two together, and now it's locked in place. It doesn't move anywhere. But you separate them, and you can get some adjustment out of it. 
you do not want your jam nut all the way down against the base plate. You don't want it run all the way down like that because a lot of times it'll wind up getting jammed into place and you can't get it to back back off or you can't get the wrench in there to actually set an adjustment on it. So what you wind up having to do is make sure you're up maybe about a quarter of an inch or so. That way you're safe and you know you've got room to play. You go ahead and just set the two together so that way you know that you'll be able to adjust from there. And it just literally sits right over the factory location here, the original spring perch. And we'll take the spring itself, lay it in here, apply a little downward pressure here. The whole thing leans down. You can stand the spring up inside. Just like that? Just like so. The spring will actually settle into its own natural original position. And then you can push down, lean the spring out, catch your little new adjustable spring perch, settle it into place, the whole assembly is together. And now what you have to do, you get a jack underneath to support this to where this bolt hole lines up at the end of your, your, uh, your shock here. You run your bolt right back in, the whole system supported. You can set the car down, check your ride height, adjust from there. That's it. That's it. Uh, That's basically how you change your suspension on the E46. But yeah, now I'm gonna uh, get this bolt in with the jack left up. I'm gonna record that. I'm gonna record once we're done. I'm gonna show you the car, guys. So we couldn't get the drop in the front because the car was too low. But let's see. I gotta get it off the jack stand first. All right. I got it. And it's gonna be low. <laughs> it's gonna be really low. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's gonna go lower than that still, but the thing is, the car is like, it's gonna ride and it's gonna go lower than that. But if you roll back and forth a little bit, yeah, huh? it'll settle down even yeah. further. It's gonna even lower than that, so. Yeah. Honestly, I'd leave the back to where they're at, probably. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's actually pretty nice. I'd bring the front up with the hair, but I'd probably leave the back to where they're at. I, I would probably, too. But, like, <laughs> shit. That's nice. That's Woo. actually pretty nice. It's worth the day. Woo. I'm going to go for a drive now, and then we're going to see how it does. And we're going to see uh, if uh, if I need to pick up the front or not. Let's go. Let's go for a drive. Look, I didn't go for a drive yet. Huh? I said, yeah, it's, it's even lower yep, now. Yep, that's what I'm saying. See, I didn't go for a drive yet. We just moved a little bit just to see my wheels would turn. And uh, the film is already getting there. Look. The back. Look at this. This wasn't there. See, I can't even put my finger. Probably my $1 bill wouldn't go through <laughs> this. Because it was already rubbing, so. It's pretty snug. Yeah. So, we're going to have to lift up just before I go for a drive. Yeah, let's see. Right. So, now we're trying to fix up the height. And in order to fix up the height, so we kind of had to uh, lose some pressure and uh, we had to open up this bolt right here to, for the shock and then now we're, now we're going to use that wrench that came with the car, the suspension I mean, and then, you know, move around with the strut. Like Mike's going to do it. Watch. There we go. Just like that. You literally just hook the wrench on there. Uh huh. Boy, that's really... It's just hard to get in this space the way this is set in here. Huh. I'm gonna have to pull it out. The whole thing? Yeah. Okay, well, he's gonna take the whole thing out and then we're gonna fix the suspension and then drive the car. Alright, that's a little better, but yeah, it's still gonna go down. Just a touch more. Yeah. But you'll you'll be able you'll be able to get a finger in there. You got a little more than a finger right now. Uh-huh. You'd be right out of that a finger's width. I think it's it rubbing touch. because my tires are really wide for the car, you know? I it, honestly I'm pretty sure it rubbed right up around here. Yeah. Well let's see. And yeah you're right the width may be part of that. You've got a pretty deep offset here. Yeah so we're gonna move up the car, move around again. I would back huh? it up and move it up. Yeah. Move it up very far. We're gonna back it up and move it up and see if it rubs still. If not then we're good. Then we're gonna just fix up the front a little bit and then Yep, let's, let me put you guys down and let you guys see what I'm doing. Hopefully nobody will bust my camera. Remember your turn. Yeah, that's 
Right where I want the other side. I mean, your car is where you want it, but. Alright, you guys, the car just looks great and really nice. It really stands out. And we're done for the day. <laughs> it was actually a Monday today, and uh, I got the, the car done. And yep, the fitment though, really nice. Alright, guys, so I'm actually sitting in my car still at Mike's house. I'm gonna go home now, and uh, I'm probably enjoying the rest of my day off. And. Uh, Thanks so much for watching. But yeah, I've been making so many videos on the E46 lately. But I will be making more videos on the F30 and the Alpha. But stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like. Make sure, make sure you share this video. Peace out. See you in the next vlog.